I'm David Lesh, and welcome back to Open, the one and only show that opens the Bronx and the rest of the world right to you. For months, we have introduced the candidates and given you the results of each primary. Today, a junk professor and Open's political correspondent, Mariah Starr, is back to give us more details on what's happening with the 2008 election. Thank you for joining us. Nice to be here again. Still exciting. Huh? Give us a little bit of an update. What's been going on? Well, um, as most people already know, um, Senator Clinton conceded. She exited the race um, uh, last Saturday and basically gave a full-throated support to Barack Obama, saying, yes, we can win the White House and asking her supporters to throw all their energy that they devoted to her to Barack Obama now, saying this election is too critical for us to, to uh, not support him. Well, finally, you know, it took, a, it took long enough, but it's n I think she realizes at, this po realizes at this point that, you know, now she kind of needs him a little bit, um, mm -hmm. and he needs her, obviously, very much uh, to win the election. Yeah. What do you think the chances are at this point? What do, you, uh, what do you think? Do you think that she might come on the ticket? What's your, what's your views on that? Well, there are two dynamics happening here. Okay. One is her supporters. Um, she has consistently drawn support from women, Hispanics, and white working class voters. He needs those supporters. And so if he wants to be elected president, he must appeal to the same exact bloc. So it's, so it's very, very important that he gets that whole network of voters in there as, exactly. as support. Now, as we, as we get closer and closer to the election, what is, is McCain offering that, let's say, Obama is not offering, or Obama offering that McCain's not offering? Where's the, di what's the difference there? Where are they really differing in terms of their, their views? Well, they're appealing to their strengths. So McCain's strength, obviously, is in national security. You know, he was a POW. He, served, he was in a uh, prisoner of war camp yeah. in Vietnam. So his message is, we must succeed in Iraq. Um, elect me as a president who will keep you secure, just like Bush has for the past eight right. years. So he is really trying to tie everything into a security framework, saying Obama is not prepared to be commander-in-chief, but I am. Obama is saying, okay, look, the Iraq war is important, but what about the price of gas? Yeah. What about the home mortgage crisis? Um, this is an economy about the election, and the polls show that people agree with him, that the economy is much more important now in their minds than the Iraq war, which, you know, once the, once the price of gas hits $6 per gallon, right. which it likely will by the end yeah. of the year, it's obvious. Well, certainly the people in the Bronx probably care a little bit less about the Iraq war and a little bit more about how they're going to be getting, you know, upstate or wherever they're going to be going yes. for the summer and how much it's going to cost uh, them to get there. But on the other hand, I guess the, the a strong commander-in-chief is important, too, so I guess each one has their, um, their strengths and, and their weaknesses. Now, where, where does this go from here, you know, up until November to the elections? How is this campaign going to be run? Any thoughts on where, where they're going to be going here? Uh, yeah, there are two key events here. Okay. Um, you know, one event, of course, is the convention itself. That, uh, for the Democrats, it's the end of August. For the Republicans, it's the beginning of September. Before that, the VP nomination. So each candidate right now is to what we call the vetting process. Yeah. They're trying to select senators, governors, um, military people who might be on the ticket with them. Now, this is a key point because usually the VP spot doesn't matter so much, but the Obama supporters are looking at, well, will he pick Clinton as his VP nominee? And what do you think about that? Well, there are, there are one logic says he should because her supporters will vote for him if she's on the ticket. But the other logic says he shouldn't because she has very high negatives. You know, there are many people, Republicans especially, who come out and vote against him yeah. if Clinton's on the ticket. Um, second, he based his campaign on, you know, the two words, change and hope. Clinton represents neither. Right. <laughs> so if he puts her on the ticket, he's basically um, betraying all the people who voted for him, hoping for a change in the dynamics of the process. So it would be a very bad move in terms of rhetoric, right. but maybe a good move in terms of political coalition. Well, I also, you know, I think, I mean, she brings... Bill Clinton to the White House, which yeah. some people feel, you know, he may be in the way in terms of, you know, preventing Obama from really doing the things that he may want to do and overshadowing mm -hmm. him a little. Let's face it. I mean, he was, yeah. you know, he was, for a while, he was beloved. And especially once he left office, he's cer certainly his stature has grown. Um, so I think it's a, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, you may, you need the supporters mm -hmm. one way, but on the other hand, you don't want to, they you don't want them to overshadow you. And I think it's mm -hmm. important that the Democrats get together. I mean, they have to get together of to course. begin with to, to see if they can, uh, if, if they can make a change. Um, any, uh, 
Any final predictions you want to make? Um, well, it's obvious that Obama had lots of support within the Democratic Party. And it's, it's, you know, McCain has similar support within the Republican Party. But what you will see is a gradual shift in, um, in emphasis toward Obama as the economic conditions deteriorate. As you know, the price of gas increases, as the uh, dollar falls, as um, people lose their homes, the conditions are ripe, very ripe, for a Democratic landslide in November. And this is what most analysts are predicting. Exciting. Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for coming. For My being pleasure. Here. Okay, we'll see you again. Thank you. Up next, you might not have to go far for your fresh produce. Want to know more? Well, don't go anywhere. We'll see you right after these messages.